A flicker of nostalgia dances through the corridors of time, back to that moment when the silver screen first embraced Roberta in 1935. Do you remember it? The thrill of anticipation before the lights dimmed, the gentle rustling of popcorn as the black and white enchantment unfurled before your eyes. Perhaps it was a shared experience with loved ones or a solitary journey into a world of glamour and romance. As the opening scenes painted a tapestry of elegance and grace, did your heart skip a beat when Irene Dunn graced the screen? Her presence is captivating as the melodies that resonated in the air. Or was it the suave Fred Astaire who effortlessly wove his way into your memory with each intricate dance step, leaving an indelible mark that time could never erase? But let's not dwell solely on memories. There's more to discover, intriguing facets of Roberta that might have eluded your notice. Did you know that behind the scenes, the production held secrets and stories, as enchanting as the film itself? From unexpected casting choices to serendipitous filming locations, these anecdotes offer a backstage pass to a bygone era of Hollywood magic. So, dear traveler through time, buckle up as we journey into the lesser-known corridors of Roberta. Unearth the captivating trivia that brings a new hue to the cinematic masterpiece you once cherished. And as the past mingles with the present, relive that sense of wonder and fascination once again. After all, the celluloid whispers of the past still echo in the chambers of our souls. And now, without further ado, let's unravel the enigmatic threads of this cinematic tapestry. A tapestry woven with random facts that might just leave you spellbound. Are you ready to dive into the allure of Roberta from a whole new perspective? Then, let the curtain rise on the revelations that await. In the 1935 film Roberta, Lucille Ball's lines during the fashion show scene were ultimately left on the cutting room floor. This cinematic adaptation of the Broadway musical featured Ball as a member of the ensemble cast, participating in the memorable fashion sequence. However, her lines in this particular scene didn't make the final cut, despite her energetic presence. A notable alteration made by the censors was to the song Let's Begin, which originally contained the risque lines we have necked till we're wrecked. Due to the stringent guidelines of the time, these lines were deemed inappropriate and were thus altered before making their way into the film. The censors also imposed the removal of the line Love's No Sin, indicating the cautious approach the studio had to take in navigating the boundaries of acceptability. Ginger Rogers' distinctive accent in the film holds a subtle homage to Polish-born actress Lita Roberty, who had portrayed the same role on the Broadway stage. Rogers' accent choice adds a layer of authenticity and connection to the character's origins, paying tribute to Roberty's portrayal. Roberta, a cinematic gem from 1935, captures not only the glamour and musicality of its era, but also the intricacies of censorship and artistic decisions that shaped its final form. These behind-the-scenes tidbits provide a glimpse into the careful considerations and adaptations that mark the transition from stage to screen. In the world of classic cinema, Roberta stands as a testament to the collaborative efforts of filmmakers, actors, and censors in navigating the cultural landscape of its time. Ginger Rogers and Fred Astaire, a harmonious dance through time in Roberta in the mesmerizing 1935 film Roberta. The legendary on-screen duo Ginger Rogers and Fred Astaire once again waltz their way into our hearts, leaving an indelible mark on cinematic history. Amid the glitz and glamour of this musical extravaganza, one enchanting moment stands out, the captivating sequence set to the tune of I Want Dance. As Ginger Rogers' mellifluous voice fills the air, she sings, but when you dance, you're charming and you're gentle, especially when you do the continental. This lyrical nod references their previous cinematic collaboration, The Gay Divorcee, where they had masterfully executed the continental dance. What unfolds next is sheer brilliance. The pair effortlessly assumes a pose reminiscent of that very dance, evoking a sense of nostalgia among the audience. The orchestra joins in with a playful riff, adding a touch of spontaneity to this meticulously choreographed scene. It's an exquisite fusion of music, movement, and memory, showcasing the duo's unparalleled chemistry. A lesser-known treasure lies within the dance sequence of Ilby Hard to Handle. A wooden floor beneath Rogers and Astaire's tapping feet was a rarity in their musical collaborations. Unlike other films where their taps were dubbed due to their subtle acoustics, this unique set allowed them to produce live tap sounds. Their genuine delight is palpable as unscripted giggles and exchanged glances mirror the sheer joy of their craft. 
The rapport they shared extends beyond the scripted realm, offering viewers a candid glimpse into their camaraderie. Roberta marks the third of the iconic dancing partnerships between Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers, a partnership that would eventually encompass a total of ten timeless films. Their synergy on screen was unparalleled, creating moments that continue to enchant audiences to this day. As their characters glide across the dance floor, a harmonious blend of elegance and exuberance unfolds, reminding us why this duo remains etched in Hollywood's history. In the realm of classic cinema, Roberta shines as a testament to the enduring artistry of Ginger Rogers and Fred Astaire. Their ability to seamlessly weave their past performances into the fabric of the present, along with the serendipitous wooden stage that gave their taps a voice, adds layers of charm to an already exquisite masterpiece. Through dance, music, and camaraderie, Roberta remains a timeless celebration of two icons in their prime. In the 1935 cinematic gem Roberta, a young and radiant Lucille Ball, just 24 years old, makes a striking appearance during a lavish fashion show sequence. Adorned in resplendent white furs, a white gown, and a cascade of white blonde hair, Ball's captivating presence adds an extra layer of elegance to the film. This standout moment, occurring around the 1 hour and 37 minute mark, showcases Ball's early talent and foreshadows her future rise to stardom. However, one of the most remarkable feats in the film is the famous dance sequence between Ginger Rogers and Fred Astaire. Set to the tune of It'll Be Hard to Handle, the electrifying routine was captured in a single seamless take. This one-take wonder not only highlights the incredible chemistry between the dancing duo, but also underscores their unparalleled prowess on the dance floor. Adding to the film's technical marvels, the elevator scenes within Roberta were brought to life using a groundbreaking RKO 3 tier set. These scenes were masterfully shot with the camera mounted on what was then the largest camera crane in the world. The combination of the intricate set design and the innovative camera work adds a touch of cinematic magic to the movie, solidifying its place as a visual spectacle of its time. Roberta, with its unforgettable performances, technical innovations, and glamorous moments, remains a cinematic treasure that continues to captivate audiences decades after its release. Its legacy lives on as a testament to the golden era of Hollywood and the collaborative brilliance that brought it to life. Lucille Ball's uncredited role in Roberta and its impact on RKO Studios in the annals of Hollywood history, Lucille Ball stands as an icon, known for her comedic prowess and her groundbreaking contributions to television. However, a lesser-known facet of her journey traces back to the 1935 film Roberta, a cinematic gem produced by RKO Studios. While the movie itself boasted Broadway origins and artistic allure, it was Ball's uncredited appearance that would eventually shape the trajectory of both her career and the studio that birthed this classic. Ball's connection to Roberta was not happenstance, but rather a blend of ambition and opportunity. Having briefly adorned the ranks of the Goldwyn girls at Samuel Goldwyn Studios, her ears perked up when RKO sought models with experience at Bergdorf Goodman in New York City for their production. Though Ball hadn't been an official employee of Bergdorf, she had graced their premises through a fashion show orchestrated by a promoter. With audacity in her corner, she pursued the role, clinching it against the odds. Yet, the most remarkable twist in this tale is how this uncredited stint intersected with the future. Ball's journey from a minor role to becoming a monumental force in the entertainment industry is emblematic of Hollywood's capricious nature. Later, at the zenith of her fame during I Love Lucy alongside Daisy Arnaz, Ball orchestrated a pivotal acquisition, RKO Studios itself. This very studio that gave her a nameless role in Roberta was now under her purview as she and Arnaz renamed it to Zillu Studios, etching an indelible mark in the annals of showbiz. The story of Roberta doesn't conclude with Ball's trajectory alone. It mirrors the studio's own fortunes. RKO producer Pandro S. Berman's audacious gambit to secure the rights to the Broadway hit Roberta proved to be a game-changer. Amid financial woes, this calculated risk injected $770,000 into the studio's coffers, paving the way for RKO's first annual profit since 1930. A single decision, fueled by artistic fervor, had transmuted into financial triumph. Roberta, a movie etched with sophistication and tunes that transcend eras, holds a more profound narrative beneath its surface. The tale of Lucille Ball's uncredited portrayal, her ascent to studio ownership, 
and RKO's triumphant resurgence reminds us that the silver screen's allure often conceals stories as captivating as those portrayed upon it. As we draw the curtains on this cinematic journey through the enchanting world of Roberta, I invite you to pause and reflect on the threads that have woven this film into the tapestry of your own memories. Like a timeless melody that lingers in the heart, this 1935 masterpiece has not only entertained but has also beckoned us to explore the facets of our emotions. Whether it's the resounding notes of music, the graceful dance of romance, or the whispers of nostalgia, Roberta has, in its own unique way, etched its mark upon our souls. As you delve into your cherished recollections of this cinematic treasure, I encourage you to share the treasures you've unearthed, those special moments, those lingering scenes, and the emotions that they've stirred within you. Let your thoughts intertwine with the legacy of Roberta, allowing us to celebrate its brilliance together. Your memories, insights, and perspectives are the shades that paint this classic with contemporary vibrancy, bridging the decades that separate us from its creation. From the golden age of Hollywood to the present day, Roberta lives on, a testament to the power of storytelling, music, and human connection. So, as we bid adieu to this journey down memory lane, I want to extend my deepest gratitude to you, dear reader, viewer, for sharing your time and passion. Your presence has been the beating heart of this conversation. Remember, the magic of Roberta lives within you, waiting to be rediscovered and retold. Until we meet again, with stories anew and memories rekindled, thank you for embarking on this voyage of nostalgia and reflection. Until next time, lights dim, curtain falls, and the echoes of the past meet the present.